Good morning, and this is Morning Real, hosted by me, Ray Salazar. This is a 3 to 4 to 100 minute or so podcast of films that I review from Technicolor, Black and White, from Algeria to Japan. Sometimes you guys request it, I review it today, and I'm so happy to review this film. Zach and Miri make a porno. Yes, yes, yes. It's a Kevin Smith film. And no, it's not a porno film. I don't know if I don't know if I'll ever um, review a porno film unless it's like that Deep Throat film. Maybe that one, you know, because technically it is a film. It's an NC-17 rated film or rated X film, you know. So hey, if there's anybody who want me to review that film, I will review that film, you know, but I'm not looking out to do it. Either way, Zach and Mary make a porno or simply known as Zach and Mary. It's a 2008 American sex comedy film, woo, written, directed, and edited by Kevin Smith, starring Seth Rogen, Elizabeth Banks, Craig Robinson, Jason Mewes, Tracy Lords, Jeff Anderson, Katie Morgan, and Ricky Mabe. It's also produced by Scott Mosier, who is a View Askew regular, you know, in Kevin Smith's films. You see him with a beard and without a beard, and for those who don't know, I'm a fan of Kevin Smith. I love the way he writes and directs his films. He's a he's sort of a com he's a comedy genius, man. He knows how to write dialogue. He knows how to write two people going back and forth. Sometimes it feels like they're improvising. Who really knows? But this guy cuts it pretty very well. And it's crazy that he edited this film, you know, and even up in Clerks Three, he edited that film as well. I reviewed Clerks One, Two and three and also review chasing amy which is a really good film if you haven't seen it it's a 90s classic cinematography by david klein music by james l vanable production companies the weinstein company and bsq productions distributed by the weinstein company it came out in 2008 at the toronto international film festival this film was about colleagues and friends getting together making a movie, even if it's a porno, you know, and it's crazy that they go to the extremes to like decide like, hey, you know what, let's make a porno. But I guess making a porno is easier than making a, you know, like a feature feature length film. So when I make a porno, right, it's easy, doesn't take much. It just needs to be kind of funny and you got to have, you know, hot people in it or whatnot or just edginess to it, right? So... Zach and Miri, they live together, they're roommates, they've been best friends since like high school, but they're not together. And like and it's those type of films, man, where like, come on, man, really, like, it's that trope almost where like, you know, where the two people who are in love with each other but they can't really see it, even though it's like right there in front of their faces. It's that type of film too. There's heart in it. I like it. And Kevin Smith still knows how to write great dialogue he knows how to be witty and edgy and nasty all at the same time you know and you got jason muse there who honestly man like he's a he he acts very well man he's a good actor he he shows it in this film you know and like i mean the dialogue that he has is pretty straightforward for like a, a man of his of comedic range can pull off but in this film he basically busted a, a silent Bob, you know, without having to be silent Bob. And sometimes it's kind of tough to to nail those silent Bob monologues. But this guy, Jason Mewes, his character nails it pretty well. And it makes me smile when I see it because I'm like, man, this guy's sober in this film. And he he just makes it his own, dude. Like, I, I, I wish for, for Jason Mewes to keep on acting, man, to get more comedy gigs. And um, hopefully... In the very near future, Kevin Smith and, and Jason Mewes make other films, man. And you got Jeff Anderson in the mix, too, who, like, it's so cool to see him not play the, the not well, I guess the same character in the last three Clerks films, right? But he does this so good, man. Like, him as well. Like, he just has a knack to nail his lines to a T. So, Zach and Miri... They're roommates. They're broke, man. Like, Zach, he has a job working at a coffee shop. Obviously, he doesn't like it. He works with this this black dude who's his friend. And, like, 
he's about to get rich because of a, of, you know, of a settlement, you know, Zach decided, Hey, you know what? Let's do a porno. And at the same time, Mary was like, uh, all right. And then they just, they just start talking about it and they just bring it to life, man. And it's crazy, man. Even, even a, an, an idea such as like making a porno. Sometimes when you have the idea and you talk about it, you convince yourself like, Hey, you know what? Maybe we can pull this off. Right. You know, as crazy as that is, they pull it off, you know, and you get to see the hijinks of, you know, making a porno film. You know, they get a cast, they get a crew, you know, Craig Robinson's character finances the film. He got his settlement and, you know, he finances it instead of, you know, putting it into a, a big screen TV. He's like, all right, you know what? Let's make something happen. And plus, you know, he wants to see boobs. So it's like a win win as long as his wife doesn't find out about it. Right. And that's the beauty of pornos, you know. That you can have fun with it by like not putting your real name out there and putting some like stupid ass raunchy ass like funny ass name and sometimes it works out you know look at Ron Jeremy it's that typical film where like you see the hijinks of making the movie and at the same time you got these two actors Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks who do comedy very well and can do drama pretty well like you know rom-com style type of of drama and they do it pretty well I, I i gotta i gotta say man like it's that type of film where like the two unlikeliest of people much like knocked up get together and guess what all right you know what we're not just friends dude and obviously there's a scene where um concludes that we can't be friends no more in a sense you know like we we are more than that and Seth Grogan playing Zach, being the director of the film, decides, hey, you know what, man? Like, I don't think I want Miri in these scenes, you know? Maybe she can do a, an all-girl scene or a solo scene. But another dude? Nah, no thanks, man. And and obviously, that bleeds into their actual drama, their actual, like, what do we got here? You know, who are we, right? And, Mar- and Miri, she's the type of person who wants to pull in her weight. And Zach as well, you know, he wants to pull in his weight because after a, a high school reunion, they kind of realize, man, they're kind of burnouts in a sense, right? Without even having to say that they're burnouts. You know, they they peaked in high school. And that's it. And they kind of want to prove themselves. And you know what? Like make, even making a movie, even the porno film, dude, like a legit porno film with like sound, decent lighting and an actual script with an actual cast. They kind of want to prove themselves that you know, they didn't just completely burn out. And you know what? You got to kind of applaud that in a sense. You got to give it up to them. You got to give how, you know, Kevin Smith is so good at just kind of like making us believe them, you know, making us stand alongside them, even because they're making a porno. Doesn't mean that they're losers. They're not complete. Just like, all right, that's it. Might as well work in that coffee shop forever, struggling with rent. So, off the top, man, it's cr- it's a crazy movie. It's very raunchy. It's dirty, and it's so out there. It's kind of hard for me to give it like a four. I can't give it a four. It's not a perfect film. It's not a perfect comedy, especially when it deals with relationships. But I, I can see where Kevin Smith was going with this film, and it's pretty different, you know. But at the same time, it's not, you know. I love films where like people get together and try to make something, you know. As crazy as fucking porn, you know, like at least they're making something. They're coming together. They're they're all these characters like have their own like existential issues in a sense, right? Because like some of them are are parents, some of them are married, which and their marriage like kind of like plain or whatnot. They need something exciting, something different, something that like kind of fulfills a void, right? We're not saying, or rather Kevin Smith's not saying, like, okay, just doing that is going to totally fill the void, and that's it. Like, nah, like, life's not about that, you know? Like, you're always going to try to fill, fill something. Accomplishing things like making a film, you know, even if it's a short film, like, it gives you that, not only that encouragement, it gives you a reason to keep going, to pick up on that and maybe like hey like I think I can actually make this work I think I can use this or not only 
use this. I can have fun with it, have fun with the people that I'm doing it with, and just see where it goes, you know. And 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 if you do it right, man, there's no reason to say that you're a burnout. I'm gonna give this film three out of four tokes. It's hilarious. There's you know rom com style stuff that goes into the film, you know, like. It's it's simple too, you know. There's no explosions. There's no like crazy twists. I mean, there's sort of a twist in there, you know. It's but it's you know it's 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 cute, man. It's it's a good non clerks film that Kevin Smith did, and he did pretty fucking well, man. I got I gotta give it to him because it's it's kind of hard being the guy who is just famously known for the Clerks franchise, and with this film, even besides chasing Amy. And mall rats. I feel that Kevin Smith did prove that he is much more than like a, a sequel type of filmmaker. You know, he can actually make things that are original, pop in your mouth, and it's gonna stay with you, man. Follow me on IG as Morning Shot Films. Subscribe to my YouTube, Morning Shot Films, and check out my other earlier episodes, such as. Princess Mononoke, AI Artificial Intelligence with Rock Samson, and as a very recent Knocked Up featuring E-Zone and XG of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast that I produce. On to the next one, and thank you. <laughs>